as Washington Commanders quarterback Jaden Daniels darted around the field for a remarkable 12.79 seconds on Sunday's final play at Northwest Stadium, Chicago Bears quarterback Caleb Williams stood on the sidelines, convinced that the defense would hold up and preserve his orchestrated comeback. But as Daniels' 52-yard heave deflected off a cluster of players and ultimately landed in the hands of Commanders receiver Noah Brown in the end zone, Williams was left with one overwhelming emotion, frustration. It wasn't solely the crushing 18-15 loss that weighed on Williams, nor the disappointment of seeing the Bears' record slip to 4-3. Rather, he felt frustration because the offense had squandered multiple opportunities throughout the game, opportunities that, if seized, would have prevented the Bears from relying on a last-second defensive stand. Reflecting on the missed chances, Williams remarked, I could have played better, and we as an offense could have performed better throughout the game to put ourselves in a stronger position determined to move forward, he added, and we will. For Williams, this game carried added significance. Not only was it hyped as a face-off between the top two draft picks of 2024, Williams and Daniels, but it was also a homecoming of sorts, as he grew up in Maryland and played high school football in Washington, D.C. friends and former teammates from Gonzaga College High School, his alma mater, even held the American flag during the national anthem, celebrating his return. Yet, despite the build-up, Williams and the Bears' offense struggled mightily through the game's first three quarters, a pattern that had plagued them all season. By halftime, they hadn't scored, with Williams completing only four of 13 passes for a mere 36 yards. It was a frustrating start that left Williams scrutinizing his own performance. That's just us shooting ourselves in the foot, he admitted. It comes down to details and focus, which starts in practice. I missed some throws I don't normally miss. Bears head coach Matt Eberfluss echoed Williams' sentiments. After three consecutive games where Williams appeared to have found his rhythm, Eberfluss noted a distinct lack of timing and cohesion on offense. He lamented the absence of a game plan to get the ball more effectively into the hands of tight ends and running backs, especially as they dealt with repeated offensive line adjustments due to injuries. Missed chances dotted the night. In the second quarter, Williams gained only one yard on a crucial third A and D2 followed by a short pass on fourth and one that failed to convert. Later, a third down sack for a 15-yard loss pushed the Bears out of field goal range before halftime. I've got to get the ball out of my hands, Williams said of the sack. In situations like that, you just have to throw it away, take those three points, and build some momentum. The most glaring misstep, however, came late in the fourth quarter, with the Bears down 12-7. With 6 minutes and 21 seconds left, they faced a third and goal from the one-yard line. Offensive coordinator Shane Waldron opted to hand the ball to offensive lineman Doug Kramer Jr., lined up as a fullback, a play the team had rehearsed. However, the handoff went awry, and the commanders recovered the fumble, extinguishing the Bears' chance to take the lead. Eberfluss defended the play call. It's a one-yard play, and we felt confident a big guy like that could make it, he said, though in hindsight, it raised questions about the decision. Despite these setbacks, Williams orchestrated a last-minute drive that nearly clinched a win for Chicago. On the Bears' final two possessions, he completed six of eight passes for 95 yards, connecting with receiver Rome Oduns for 16 yards and veteran Keenan Allen for a 22-yarder. In a crucial fourth-down play, Allen drew a pass interference penalty, setting up a one-yard touchdown run by Roshan Johnson, followed by a successful two-point conversion. With just 23 seconds left, the Bears took a 15-12 lead.